Today we're going to make a wonderful, tasty chocolate brownie. Now this one is, um, is for vegans. So let me just quickly run you through what we're going to do first. Our ingredients are 113 grams of cooked sweet potato, 3 tablespoons of cacao powder, 60 ml of coconut milk, 113 grams of dairy free chocolate drops and 113 grams of peanut butter. Also half an avocado, two tablespoons of maple syrup. So got all those ingredients? Okay, next. Take a bowl, that's all you're going to need is a bowl and a sieve. So we'll move those ingredients over that way so you can see a little bit better. So in goes the powder, chocolatey goodness. And I always find it's best to sieve our cocoa powder. I mean this is a fairly new one so there's not too many in there but sometimes it does settle. Then we go in with our avocado. Making sure all the skin is off. Okay. Now the avocado adds a sort of fudginess to the brownie. I've had this um, in, in some other dishes, some other vegan dishes, and the avocado really does it well. Some chocolate, some cacao, raw cacao fudge. That was wonderful. Okay, in goes our sweet potato. Our peanut butter. So very easy this. So obviously, you know, yesterday I was doing some cooking. So I just popped my jack of potato in the oven while I was doing some cooking. So I'm just going to try and not plant this everywhere. In goes our coconut milk. And then I'm going to have two tablespoons of maple syrup. One, two, tablespoon. Always remember the tablespoon is the biggest spoon, really. Unless you're working in the kitchen where you get a kitchen spoon, but you know, we're just in a normal kitchen today. We're going to give that all a mix together. So you can, if you've got a food processor, and you want to make it nice and easy and quick then you can put it all in but look it doesn't take long good one to do with the kids with one bowl one bowl recipe so beat that up make sure it's nice and smooth and vegetables in cakes there's quite a few you know obviously everybody knows the carrot cake but I've done a butternut squash cake this there's courgette cake, courgette and lemon balm. They're really nice. You know, lavender, all those sorts of things. Beetroot and chocolate, fantastic. In fact, I've got some beetroot, so I'll do some beetroot and chocolate muffins soon. Right, so, there we have our little batter. Now, I'm, that feels uh, just a little bit thick to me. So, I'm just going to add... Let's add a tablespoon more of coconut milk. So that'll be 15 mils, so that will give you 75 mils of coconut milk. All depends on the avocado and that. Obviously, not spilling it all over yourself. That feels a bit better. Okay, so then I'm going to put my dairy free chocolate drops in. Okay, give that a stir up. Then I'm going to put that into a loaf tin today. If you want to put it in individual, in individual ones, then you can. Okay, there's another. So just pop that in. 
Okay, we've got to make sure we get all of this goodness in. And this doesn't take very long. This only takes 20 minutes in the oven. I'll tell you what the flavour that I can smell with the peanut butter and everything. Absolutely gorgeous. So let's get a bit more of that off. We don't want to waste any of that chocolatey goodness. down. Okay, and then into the oven, 165 degrees for 20 minutes. See you in a minute. We'll see you in 20 minutes. Alright, so we're back and our brownies cooked. So we're going to have a little slice. Look at that. Lovely and gooey. So, before I present this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chill it down because I think this will need to cool a little bit just to firm it up a little bit more because we've got no flour in there we've, and we've got our avocado and our, uh, our sweet potato. So I think we'll cool that down and then we'll come back and we'll present it. Okay, see you later. Hi, so we're back with our cooled brownie. There you are, look at the nice texture on that. Nice and gooey. Now, I had a little bit of coconut milk left, so I thought we'd put a little bit of that just over there, a little serving suggestion, and then let's have a taste. So remember, we've only got a little bit of maple syrup in there, so that's not too sweet. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Very deep flavour. Peanuts coming through. Fantastic. That's a really nice gooey one. Mmm. Keep going. That's going to be one of my staples. Well done if you've done that. And remember, keep safe. See you later.